Today on Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out, we're talking about safety. Are you concerned about the safety of your child? Would you like to know how to turn an old phone into a video security system? Do you want an app to keep track of your children and other safety measures? Learn tips for keeping your child safe as we begin our month focusing on back to school. Ready to clear your clutter and share your gifts with the world? Join award-winning professional organizer, author, and certified life coach Julie Caraccio on Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out as she teaches you how to navigate the waters to declutter your life. Today's episode was inspired because I believe safety is always important. I talk a lot about where the attention goes, energy flows. So I don't recommend fixating and worrying all the time about safety. My reason for doing this episode is there are things that you can do, actions you can take to bring you peace of mind and help dampen that worry. We have an alarm system and I'll never live anywhere without. That's probably a product of living in Los Angeles for 10 years, but my parents were robbed. I live in a small town. And I saw how that devastated my mother. They stole her wedding ring. What made it worse is they know who did it, and they were never prosecuted. And it took her a long time to get over that. There were sentimental items that she had. When I was living in Los Angeles, I came upon a robber early one morning. I was living in a condo, and we had carports. And I'd done some training to fight, and that really helped me because I was able to keep calm and he ran away. Now he was just simply trying to do smash and grabs. But it was important that I was able to keep my wits and not lose it or do anything crazy. I've also used my training. I was confronted by someone who had just been released from jail. It was dusk and I was walking to my car in Los Angeles and I did everything I learned in the safety class. As my father likes to say, prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Here are some suggestions that can help keep your children safe and put your mind at ease. Sprint We Go is an affordable first phone for kids that features easy to use technology. With just one button and a friendly intuitive screen, it's easy for kids to operate and the parental controls and extensive tracking functionality are easy for parents to set up and use. Sprint We Go features a secure contact list and you can enter up to 20 contacts that the user can send and receive outgoing calls and texts from. GPS location services, get the device's location at a moment's notice. Texting to the family member you're locating from your phone or the web. Panic alarm, a loud alarm sounds on release of Tether's pull string and sends the parent a notice that the panic alarm has been activated. It's extremely durable, it's shatterproof and waterproof. It has a speed detection alert. Receive a notification when device exceeds a preset speed. There's also the Gizmo, G-I-Z-A-M-O, PAL2 from Verizon Wireless. This provides reliable ways to keep track of your children with simple two-way calling so you can be in touch at all times. It allows you to have real-time location tracking and two-way calling. Schlag Connect Touchscreen Deadbolt with Alarm. Built-in alarm technology senses movement of the door and allows this residential lock with alarm to alert homeowners with an audible alert. You can select between three alerts activity, tamper, or forced entry alert, and customize it to meet and fit your security needs. It employs Z-Wave, a wireless technology that makes your house smarter, safer, and far more convenient. You can connect with your home via computer, tablet, or smartphone with the service provider of your choice and get the exact features you want. The Presence app, that's P-R-E-S-E-N-C-E, -E, 
reimagines your spare iOS and Android devices as free Wi-Fi security cameras. It easily expands with add-on products to secure and control your home from anywhere in the world. Worried about what your dog is chewing on while you're at work? Or whether your home is secure while you're on vacation? Just download the award-winning Presence app on a spare smartphone or tablet to turn it into a security camera with motion detection thanks to the fantastic video capabilities of your old gadget. Sign into Presence on another mobile device or on the web to keep an eye on your home base in real time. Presence will even alert you with recorded videos when motion is detected so you always know what's going on. Everyone, I have two fall masterminds. They begin September 10th and run through October 19th. The first one is how to declutter your life. We're going to examine clearing clutter in all areas of your life. The second mastermind is a back to school mastermind for school success. If you haven't been organized, struggling when the school year comes around, you'll want to check it out. Both masterminds include a multiple hour class, a 40 day private Facebook support group, and my favorite, two 90 minute group coaching sessions. If you've been saying for years, that you're going to get organized, you're going to clear your clutter, and it hasn't happened, it's time to take action. If you're ready to create the life you desire, I hope you'll join us. You can. True Motion Family is an app that gives you location sharing so you can know where your child is driving, a driving report card grading from 0 to 100 each time your child gets behind the wheel. A distraction score to show if your child uses their cell phone while driving, and 24 7 roadside assistance to call for help in case of trouble. The Life 360 app. Whether you're making dinner plans, coordinating carpools, or just ensuring everyone arrived home safely, Life 360 gives you simplified communication and peace of mind right at your fingertips. Instantly see everyone in your private circle on the map. You can message the whole group at once or one-on-one. -on -one. Avoid annoying where are you calls and just send a quick check-in to let mom know you've made it to soccer practice and you're doing great. Or you can make it really easy and automate the whole thing by adding places to alert you when circle members come and go from your favorite spots. The Family Time app will keep you posted on your children's whereabouts and let you manage screen time and block apps on their phones with just a tap. What's more, your kids can reach out to you instantly if they ever get in trouble with instant panic alert. You can set time limits, limit screen time during night hours, and lock the mobile for homework time. This geofencing app lets you geofence as many places as you want to. You'll get instant alerts when your kids enter or leave geofence places anytime. Again, please always do your double checking. When I went to record this, everything was up to date, but sometimes things change, especially with apps. In addition to these tools, I'd encourage you to teach your kids about safety. Here are some suggestions. What other things do you need to teach your children about? Remember, you want to teach them to be aware, but not make them paranoid. But we all know a parent and a child who is a little bit anxious because of the parent just overdoing it. Look both ways. Seems pretty basic, but sometimes at events like trick-or-treating, they can forget. And teenagers aren't always looking both ways. Don't give out personal information online or to a stranger. Don't open the door to a stranger. With social media these days and all the things you can do online, the bad guys are getting better. Don't play with matches, knives, or guns. You often think about little kids for this, but teens need to be reminded of this as well. Remember, their brains are still developing, always don't have the best judgment. They need to be reminded of this. We see almost weekly someone getting injured or killed it was a child. 
Don't walk alone. Have a buddy. That's good advice for adults as well. As I record this, there's a young woman, I believe it's in Iowa, who went out for a jog and is missing. You own your body. Talk about private parts and what is inappropriate touching. You can take your children to safety classes. The class I did in Los Angeles, Impact Personal Safety was awesome. They had the guys dress up in the big things because they're like, we want you to hit us hard. We are teaching you muscle memory, so if you ever are being attacked, that you're going to hit your hardest. They also do a class for children. I know I've read teaching kids things like you're fast, run away, kick them in the shins. That might be something you'd like to consider for your child. How and when to use 911. Some adults definitely need a refresher on this. On Nextdoor, which is a online neighborhood listserv, one person got upset because someone had posted someone who tried to break into their house. Now, the rest of us were okay with that and were like, yeah, they should have called 911. It was two o'clock in the morning. They weren't knocking. They weren't asking for help. They had their face partially covered wearing a sweatshirt when it was 90 degrees in the middle of the night. Call 911. People barbecuing, don't call 911. And what I believe to be most important, trust your instincts. This is so valuable. When I didn't trust mine, I was a victim of a crime. In the past, when I've listened to my instincts, listened to my intuition, it's really gotten me out of a jam and it saved me from further hurt. I think there's nothing more valuable than teaching your kids from an early age, your gut, your instinct, it's there for a reason. Don't ignore it. And I think, unfortunately, in our society, we poo-poo it, and it's something that could be the difference of life or death, really and truly. If the kids are aware and know, you know what, something in this situation doesn't feel good, this person doesn't feel good to me, I need to leave, make a huge difference. Take actions from today's podcast. Decide what safety options you'd like to try. Determine what you need to consider, age activities when finding solutions. Figure out what other safety issues you're concerned about and what tools you can use to address them. Talk to your kids about being safe. Implement safety tools. On next week's episode, we're talking about grief. Go out, clear the clutter, to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. Ready to live a more joyful and fulfilling life? Sign up for our newsletter at reawakenyourbrilliance.com and receive a free copy of 10 Steps to Clearing Clutter Inside and Out. If you enjoyed today's episode, please rate and review Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out. See you next Tuesday at 1 p.m. 